Hey everybody, it's your boy Sir Dragon, and welcome back to another edition of the Heavens Monsters Podcast at my crib. With me today is Chris Petrie. Too sweet, too sweet. And with also, wear your mask, people. Wear your masks. Yeah, 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 I heard you. <laughs> today we are gonna to cover Impact Wrestling on April 14th of 2020. So let's go. We start tonight with Johnny Swinger. Going around saying that he's got himself a young buck. That M. Jackson. Matt Jackson? Never heard of him. What do you mean you never heard of him? Hey, Matt Jackson. From I, AEW. That was no Matt Jackson. No, no, no. He no. was just an old guy. That's Mike old. Jackson. Yeah. Apparently he's a veteran, but from where? I do not. Do you know? Do you know? No. What the hell? He ends up fighting him and having a hard time and ultimately having to cheat against an old man who literally went old school like the Undertaker. But instead of going across one side of the ring to the other, he went all around the freaking world balancing on that rope. For an old guy, he's got balance, right? But uh, freaking Johnny Swinger won the match by having his uh, feet on the rope without the referee knowing. Dirty cheat. Yep. Ace Austin makes, uh, talks smack about Willie Mack and his partner er, that he had a real scum jump at his home. Uh, Rick Swan. <laughs> mm, poor baby. But then, uh, Trey. Miguel from the Rascals come up to him and says that he is the scum. Because he was saying, Ace was saying that, uh, Willie was scum for not looking, uh, looking out for his friend. So they end up having a, fought, a fight just because he had the balls to say, How is your mother, by the way? <laughs> Don't mention his mom. <laughs> they end up having themselves a match later tonight. Next, we have. <laughs> I think she's hungry. She's hungry. <laughs> what the hell? Who, who is that? Scott Amder? Scott Samore. Reminds Ken Shamrock that there is to be a no physical contact in tonight's contract signing. Or the match will not happen with Sammy Callahan. Money? Getting the food? Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here they come. You okay? You dropped the Gatorade? Right on my toe. Ooh. You okay? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, poor mama. Yeah. Bad luck, huh? Next up, we have a tag team match. Wait, a four-way tag team match. What, was this a number one contendership? Yeah. Uh, you need my help? Okay. Watch out. Okay. I'm glad I'm wearing a mask. This is okay. Get you my baby. I'll go get you. I'll go get you. Go get the food. <laughs> Next. We have the ta four-way tag team match. I'm thinking this was for a number one contendership. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think it is. Yeah, yeah, you would think, right? Yeah. With the Rascals of Dez and Wentz versus Triple XL. That's what they're called. AC Romero and Larry D. The big boys. Triple XL. <laughs> That's a first. We also have Rito Scum with Adam Thorne, Thr uh, Thra, and Luster the Legend. What the? He's calling himself the Legend? What the? He ain't no Legend. No. Eh. no, no, no. Not yet. Versus Fa uh, Falaba and TJP in a four-way tag team match. This match would go all sorts of qua crazy. I'm about to say crazy. What the hell am I? Emma Fudd? With the big boys running uh Throwing weights, Rito Scum hitting hard, and 
the Rascals hot, flying high. It would be Falaba and TJP getting the win. And here comes the North getting all up in their face, showing the titles, saying they ain't taking these titles because they already whooped their ass once. But will that, if that happen again? I have to wait and see. At Rebellion. Cause that's a, that's what it looked like at the end. That's why I think it was, uh, uh, for the tag team title, number one sh- shot. That's what it looked like. Next. What the, who's that? Zane? Hakim Zane. Uh oh. Did I put it? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I did. Azim Zane yeah. doesn't seem particularly embarred with the idea of wrestling Super Max. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh how you, Rahit Rajul. There he goes. That's his real name up there. Okay, it's got, they're using Twitter. They're using Twitter. That's why. That's why I can't. I don't know who he's is. I got the paragraph down here, and he fights Houston, Texas own Super Max. Okay, hold up. I can't wrestle like him. <laughs> we got the Supermax Hernandez wrestling from the original a- 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 TNA wrestler going up against Rahit Raju. And man, he makes quick work of Rahit. Man, he does. You, uh, H-Town uh, Supermax gets, it, it, it whoops his ass. <laughs> he had a little spat with his mentor, that's for sure. He hates getting slapped. You know he's about to break. You know he is. He's this close. To snap him back and say, screw you. I'm done with the Dizzy Hit Squad. Done. Mm-hmm. And then he's going to have to fight the lion. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we have Joy Ryland interrupting a recap of his defeat to the Deaners. With the latest update from RVD. Talk about social dis- distancing while they're getting all lovey-dovey in a hot tub. And then the last thing we see is them sucking face. Mm-hmm. Like... Really? Social distancing? That's not social distancing. That's fucking face. <laughs> so they're saying that they're going to uh, cancel, culture cancel, uh, the deaners. Oh, what the hell? I thought we just covered that. Dang. Okay. Next up, we have Madison Rain. Use the debut of her new show, Locker Room Talk, to steer up the pot between Kira Hogan and Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray, whose character is very, very happy, always sees the positive and good in people, while Kira Hogan, who's a bad girl, comes in and just tells her that she is not, not, uh, that she is going to mess her up, that she's going to beat her up and all that. And it, it, it she, Madison Rain gets what she wants. She actually gets to see a little bit of attitude from uh, Kylie Ray, and actually says, "You know what? You are just a mean person." I was like, "Really? That's it?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Madison Rain is like, "Ooh, she told you." I was like, "Whatever." And throughout that whole time, because he's surrounded by women, the the the, the, the uh, co-host of the show, <laughs> Jimmy uh, Johnny Swinger, is just going, uh, just being a perv, saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." You know, he's thinking preferred thoughts. He would say, "Oh, Johnny Swinger with a, a sandwich with all kinds of filling." I'm like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> You need to get some, you need some rehab, dude. You need some sexual uh, frustration rehab, or whatever the fuck. You need to go to sex rehab. You need it. There isn't such a thing for the record. There is. Yeah. It's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Steve-O from Jackass had that. Yeah. I heard that on Pandora. He was doing a comedy stand. He, he was like, <laughs> I'm not getting into that. Anyway, next up we have an X Division champion. Ace Romero goes up against Trey in a nine-title match. Sadly to say, thanks to his cheating ways, Ace Romero, uh, not Ace Romero, Ace Austin ends up beating Trey in this match. And uh, it's just, uh, it's not right. It's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Scumbag and the perv. 
Next up, we have Taya Valkyrie with Johnny Bravo and that plushy dog fighting the returning to Neil Dashwood. It's all about heart. Is her gimmick. Ultimately, Tanel Dashwood gets the victory only for her to have Taya Valkyrie to be enraged and attacking her with a steel chair. And of course, Johnny Bravo's letting it happen. So in order for this to finally stop, the knockouts champion, Jordan Grace, makes the save. Jordan Grace pummels both Taya and Bravo with the kendo stick and sending them retreating up the ramp. So... We are going to have another Taya versus Grace match. Taya Valkyrie versus Jordan Grace. Oh. Next, we have a little promo of Tommy Dreamer and Rhino, the ECW originals. So, uh, f- we'll find a partner uh, for a third person for their match against the, what do you call it? OVE. Yeah. And they will go to war and they will get this gore, gore, gore. Finally, we have the contract signing between Sammy Callahan as well as Cam Shamrock. And dude, did you hear the new music Sammy Callahan has for himself? Like it or not, that music is pretty sweet. And of course, like I said, like it or not, here comes Sammy Callahan grabbing the mic. Kim Shamrock not uttering a word. Sammy is just chewing him out, saying this, saying that. And he has the balls to mention his daughter. Ken Shamrock flips the table. He goes, yeet. And he tries to get his hands on him, but he presses a button and the lights go out. And, he, and the lights keep going on and off. And all of a sudden you see these figures wearing these paper faces of his image of ICU. And, and it's just ominous. And Kim Shamrock is looking them come and go as they please until one is just walking it towards the back. He chases him. He says, he gets into an Uber and says, follow that car! And he gets a call from an unknown server and, he, and he's like, so he, he answers it and sure enough, it's FaceTime with Sammy Callahan. He says, hey, give my condolences to the driver. And sure enough, it's one of those guys. And all of a sudden, outside the car, the guy, he disappears. He's like, <laughs> Where'd you go? I think they're getting this from uh, the second movie called Dark Web. Unfriend. That's what it's called. Unfriend. The first one was a poltergeist using the internet, social media. The second one were a bunch of people playing death and killing people left and right. So I think that's what he's getting his gimmick idea from. Because now we got all these faces guys outside the car rocking the vehicle that Cammy Shamrock, Ken Shamrock is in. And he's like, hey, what the hell? Get the hell off me, you bastard. He's like, get Sammy. And that's how the show ends. Did I miss anything, bro? Did this thing miss anything? Yes, Man. I, I recognize, I, I'm glad I watched that film because I was like wondering, what the hell is this? The hell? Some hacking to the, the real life level. Damn. Well, what do you take from this, bro? What, what what's your uh, biggest it, uh, pet peeve with this match? I mean, this this show. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I can't, I can't explain it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Try, try. No, uh, the about this, uh, about the, the Callahan and Shenrod, yeah. well, we know, we all, we all know uh, Callahan was trying to get Ken, Shaw, Ken Shenrod to punch him, it would be no, because he wanted to, he didn't want to face him, uh-uh. yeah. he wanted to check it out. Yeah, he pushed that button to make sure he didn't, though. Yeah. yeah he didn't want, he didn't want none of Ken Shenrod, he didn't. No, he so he not. sent his faceless goons. Yeah. His minions. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised they're all the guys from his OVE. Uh, what do you call it? The OVE compound. Yeah. Remember that? There was a bunch of them. In which case, we uh, you ready to close it? Yeah. All right.
15 minutes. That's good. A shout out to our fellow brethren, the Heavens Monsters podcast crew. A link to the, uh, these three descriptions of Xavier Hill, Mike Henry, and Andre Mitchell will be in the descriptions down below to their YouTube channels. So check them out. As well as a shout out to our boy Chris Petrie right here, T Money, Renee, Farrell, and Delvin. So with that said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You didn't? Give it a thumbs down. Hit that subscribe button, like the content, and hit that notification bell for the next Heavens Monsters podcast. I'm Sir's Dragon. This is Chris Petrie, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.